Dear student, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is MBBT and its types in English language. This is the seventh video on introduction to NLP. Now let us start. Ambiguity. Natural languages are extremely rich in form and structure and hence it is inherently ambiguous. Ambiguity in NLP refers to the phenomenon where a word, phrase or sentence has multiple possible interpretation or meanings. Ambiguity arises from inherent complexity and flexibility of human language and it can occur at various level. Ambiguity present at various levels such as lexical, syntactic, semantic, pragmatic, discourse and referential level. Now we will see each level in detail. First is lexical ambiguity. Lexical ambiguity occurs when word has multiple possible meanings. Its common challenge in NLP where a single word can be interpreted in different ways depending on context. For example, bank. It may be a financial institution or river bank, bat, animal or sports equipment. Other examples are word, back. It can be noun that is backstage. It can be adjective that is backdoor or it can be act as an adverb if we use back away. So it has three meaning. It may be noun. It, may, it has three part of speech tag. It may be noun, it may be adjective or it may be adverb. The word silver can be used as noun, adjective or over. For example, she back to silver medal. Here, silver is adjective. Silver is bright. Now here, silver is noun. She made a silver speech. Now it is giving more information about the speech. That's why it is an adjective. And his worries had silvered his hair. So now here, silvered work as a verb. So this is nothing but the lexical ambiguity that is a word has multiple possible meaning. Now how, how we can do that uh, resolution? One way is that lexical category disambiguation or pause tagging. Resolve ambiguity by determining the part of speech of tag in a context. For example, I will bat in the game. So here by using the uh, part of speech tagging grammar, we can find out that whether this bat is at having which part of speech tag so now here in this sentence bat having the verb so it is resolved so therefore here bat will work as a verb next is the bat flew at night now by part of speech tagging we find found that bat is a noun so here bat that scope is resolved now bat will work as a noun so variety types of algorithms are there for part of speech tagging determination and by that way we can resolve the lexical ambiguity now we will see the next lexical semantic ambiguity when a single word is associated with multiple senses so for example here there is a discrimination that for example bat is working as a verb bat is working as a noun but sometimes that particular word is act having the same part of speech tag so at that time how to determine so the solution is uh, word sense disambiguation so first we will see what is mean by lexical semantic ambiguity withdraw some money from the bank now this bank is related with financial institution and this is nothing but the noun and here also this bank is noun but here we can see the context of the neighborhood words and we can find out that this statement is related with the bank which is belongs to the financial institution now here do not go do not go near the bank of the river so river word is a strong phenomenon or strong uh, that is nothing but the proof that this bank word is related with side of river the tank was full of water so here it is container and i saw a military tank it is nothing but the armored vehicle so by seeing the context of the neighbor words we can find out that this word has a particular meaning so for that we are using the word sense disambiguation it uses context to assign the correct meaning to word wsd aims at automatically determining the meaning of word in a given context next is <coughs> syntactic ambiguity for the same sentence there can be multiple interpretation due to possible syntactic structure for example variety types of ways are there for syntactic ambiguity but here i am covering only two scope ambiguity involves operators and quantifiers where the scope of these elements is not clear leading to multiple interpretation for example old men and women were taken to safe location so two possible meanings are old men and old women were taken to safe location or old men and women which may be of any age 
वे आर टेकन टू सेल्फ लोकेशन वे आर टेकन टू सेफ लोकेशन एग्जाम्पल एवरी स्टूडेंट रीड अ बुक सो अगेन पॉसिबल इंटरप्रिटेशन आर देर फॉर एवरी स्टूडेंट देर इज अ बुक दैट दे आर रीडिंग और देर इज वन पर्टिकुलर बुक दैट ऑल स्टूडेंट्स रीड सो फ्रॉम दिस स्टेटमेंट द कंटेक्सट इज नॉट क्लियर और सिंटेक्टिक स्ट्रक्चर इज नॉट क्लियर वेदर एवरी स्टूडेंट इज रीडिंग द सेम बुक और एवरी स्टूडेंट इज रीडिंग अ पर्टिकुलर बुक फॉर पर्टिकुलर स्टूडेंट नाउ रिजोल्यूशन मेथड्स आर कंटेक्शुअल एनालिसिस सीमेंटिक पार्सिंग क्वांटिफायर स्कोप रिजोल्यूशन अलगोदम्स आर यूज टू रिमूव द स्कोप एम्बिग्विटी इन सिंटेक्टिक फेज नेक्स्ट इज अटैचमेंट एम्बिग्विटी ऑकर्स वेन कंस्टिट्यूंट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन अ सेंटेंस वराइटी टाइप्स ऑफ कंस्टिट्यूंट्स आर देर फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउन फ्रेज वर्क फ्रेज प्रिपोजिशन फेज नाउ हियर वी कैन फिट इन टू मोर दैन वन पोजिशन इन अ पार्स ट्री सो एट दैट टाइम अटैचमेंट एम्बिग्विटी कम्स इन टू द पिक्चर फॉर एग्जाम्पल द मैन सॉ द गर्ल विद द टेलीस्कोप सो हियर अगेन टू पॉसिबल इंटरप्रिटेशन आर देर द मैन यूज अ टेलीस्कोप टू सी द गर्ल और द मैन सॉ अ गर्ल हु हैड अ टेलीस्कोप सो हियर द थिंग्स आर नॉट क्लियर whether the man is carrying the telescope or girl having the telescope so resolution methods are parsing algorithm contextual clues rule based disambiguation third is semantic ambiguity this occurs when the meanings of the word themselves can be misinterpreted misinterpreted even after the syntax and the meanings of the individual words have been resolved there are multiple ways of reading the sentence for example the car hit the pole while it was moving here two possible meaning are there the car while moving hit the pole or car hit the pole while the pole was moving so the sentence meaning is not clear here next is the dog chased the cat while it was running now here again the dog while running chased the cat or the dog or the dog chased the cat while the cat was running so again the disambiguity comes place because the meaning is not clear and it is mainly due to this it word so here it is not clear whether the dog was running or the cat was running resolution methods contextual analysis word knowledge and real world semantics pronoun resolution algorithms semantic parsing role labeling and machine learning models are used for resolving the semantic ambiguity next is a pragmatic ambiguity pragmatic ambiguity refers to situation where the context or or phrase give it to multiple interpretations it is often the hardest task because it involves processing the user intention sentiment belief word knowledge models and all of which are very highly complex to understand for example tourist better go upstairs to my room and to see if my sandals are there do not be late i have to catch the train in 15 minutes better running upstairs and coming back panting yes sir they are there so in this example the waiter fails to understand the tourist pragmatic expectation which is used to bring the sandal and not just to check if the sandals are there in room or not example check if the milk is boiled so here expected meaning is that verify if the milk has reached the boiling point then take the necessary actions such as switch off the stove uh, when it is about to overflow but not only to check whether the milk is boiled or not next is it's cold is here the speaker is simply stating that about the meaning two meanings can be possible the speaker is simply stating the fact about the temperature and second is the speaker is indirectly requesting to close a window or turn up the heat turn up the heat so here the second meaning is more preferable for this sentence resolution methods contextual analysis word knowledge intent recognition inference model dialogue system and clarification these are the methods to remove this ambiguity next is discourse ambiguity discourse ambiguity occurs when multiple sentences or phrases in a text can be interpreted in different ways based on how they are related to each other it encompasses the referential ambiguity but also includes other types of ambiguity such as those related to coherence context and the logical flow of the text now we will see the example so at initial level it is very difficult to understand the coherence context and logical flow of the text but it is clear in the topic that is discourse and referential and uh, referential topic or referential concept so all these things are cleared actually here but here 
only you try to understand with the help of example the co- the horse ran up the hill it was very steep it soon got tired so here meaning one it was very steep refers to the hill and it soon got tired refers to the horse so as a human it is very common sense that when we read the sentence it was very steep then we can e- easily correlate to the hill and it soon got tired we relate easily to the horse but here for machine it is very difficult to interpret this to it because it got confused with the horse and hill tom hit jim he fell down now here who fell tom or jim the white house made a statement does this mean the mil- building itself made the statement or administration the dog barked at the mailman and he mailman and he ran away who ran away the dog or mailman resolution methods are contextual analysis pronoun resolution word knowledge real world semantics discourse parsing and machine learning model last is referential ambiguity this occurs when pronoun or noun phrase could refer to two or more different entities within a sentence or discourse for example john told peter that he would win now again two interpretations are there he refers to john or he refers to peter next is abhishek saw a beautiful chevrolet spark at the showroom he showed it to amitabh he bought it now again ambiguity is related with that he and it he can refer to either abhishek or amita and in this statement it can be referred to either chevrolet park or chevrolet spark or showroom so resolution methods again we are using con- co reference contextual analysis and word knowledge so here again ambiguity comes because of noun and pronoun phrase so this is all about the ambiguity present at various level in english language in the next video i am going to explain all this ambiguity for uh, languages like marathi and hindi thank you